So today in this video we are going to see a trick by which we can make our calculation faster for the complex projects. Okay. So in my previous video I have showed you some trick okay, by which you can do your calculation uh, more fast. But this one is uh, different, a bit different because this one is for a complex project. So here, uh, what, what do I mean by complex project? So always we have projects we have which has multiple stories, okay, which has multiple buildings or it's too huge in space and it has some complex architectural elements. So because of these things, our calculation time you know uh, it just increases a lot okay and uh, rendering process also becomes too slow so this one I so now uh, here for this tutorial I have used a, a residence which I previously used for one of uh, videos okay before I used only for the ground floor uh, now I just copied the ground floor, made another floor similar to that of the ground floor and this is my first floor. So uh, it is small project though it is not that complex but still say you have multiple stories like two, three and four, like two, three and four and you have to do calculations for all these things so obviously the time gets increases. The very first thing you need to do when you have the multiple stories is naming of the rooms, okay? So, if you don't know how to rename the rooms, uh, just go and check out my tutorial on naming the rooms. Uh, I will share the link to that video in, my, in the description box. So, here uh, when you go to this one, this two, you, this when you go to this tool, this drop down list appears. This basically says the number of the floor, the building name, the stories. So when I select this one, this is the whole building. So you can see. Okay. So this is the building. I have named it as MZ Residence. Okay. That is the third name of the client. Okay. Then the ground floor, this one. Then I have even made separate rooms, room name like the master bedroom here, the WC, okay you can see the origin here, okay the living and dining, okay then the children's bedroom is coming here. So similarly I have named all the rooms of the ground floor. Then then this is my first floor and similarly I have named the rooms accordingly okay like this one wc dining okay so you have to do what the first step here is naming of all the rooms so name the rooms buildings and sites properly okay uh, even you can change the name of the site just click here and you can write it as um, residence like this okay that's it so now uh, once this is done your first step is cleared then make sure you have positioned all the lights where you need so I have done all the lighting work here I have made some down lights some linears okay now this if I'm running the whole project it is going to increase the calculation time so what's the steps closely okay go to calculation objects then here the small set calculation tool click here Okay, under standard and fast, make it on fast. Don't make any changes here. Okay, then once you have done this settings, come over here. See, if it is a residence, then 
this is the mz residence okay so this is in this uh, building mode then this is in the ground floor you can if you want you can make it first floor so first we'll see the ground floor okay now in the ground floor here is the very interesting feature that is you can select the rooms so, so the importance so here you know the importance of naming the room so i have named all the rooms so this was my master bedroom and this is the wc this is a storeroom and this is living and dining okay so now if i want to run the calculation only for the master bedroom so uh, i have a two story building ground floor and the first floor i have a minimum of uh, five to six rooms okay that of a huge area so if i do the calculation for everything it is going to take a long time so the best trick is do the calculation room wise okay so now what you need to do is you need to select the room for which you have to do the calculation it might be any of the room so i'm going to consider the master bedroom in this case okay so you can see the room here um i have linear lights some pendant and some uh, adjustable lights for reading here uh, one nice table lamp here and that's it for the lighting then if you have observed here when i am in the master bedroom m bedroom you can see this also changes to m bedroom right so now you need to just click on this calculation m bedroom and it's going to start the calculation only for that bedroom you can see the calculation time okay so it just took some seconds to calculate the calculation part for master bedroom so here you go you can see the master bedroom okay um, you can get even the thermal view here so that you know what is the lux level you are getting in the whole room even you have the work plane here if you click on work plane you can see the isometric values showing the lux levels so it is you know it just took some seconds for me to calculate this room now uh, i did mine was the whole uh, you know residence two story residence i'm doing for only the master bedroom let's go and see how it looks when i go into site view and see the whole building does this have an effect to the whole building this will just zoom out okay and yeah now if you see here only this this is my master bedroom which is calculated you can see through the window but for the other rooms if you enter you can see it's no light no light here okay saying that this parts are not calculated okay so only this room is calculate calculated and it's perfectly calculated no no bugs here so this is this makes my work easy now this one we did for um now this one we did for the ground floor okay let's do one room for the first floor let's see how it goes so we'll just cancel the calculation okay what you need to do here is go to the calculation objects okay mz residence previously we were in ground floor now you have to make it first floor now we are in first floor here um we will do the calculation for here we'll do calculation for the children's room okay you can see here okay so here i have some linear lights going on the ceiling and one is dropping on the wall and one nice table lamp okay that's it this is a small room but still 
So once we have selected the C bedroom, that is the children's bedroom, you can observe here, even this changes to C bedroom. Just to make sure you are going in the right path, make sure this two matches here, okay? Then all you need to do is just simply click on this one and it gets, and it starts calculating. Okay, so we have finished with the calculation. You can see the calculated results here, the light output. You can see even the thermal view here showing the different lux levels. It's a quite bright bedroom. <laughs> you can dim it later. <laughs> okay, um, we can have our work plane also. Right, so we'll just zoom out. We'll just go to the side view, zoom all, residence, zoom all, right, okay. Now you can see through the windows or if you go inside, there is no other areas which are calculated. Only the calculated room is the zoom, which is children's bedroom. This one, okay. So guys, this is the very simple and easy trick. It reduces your calculation times for minutes. Oh, it might be 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and it produces two, say two, three seconds. So it's super easy, super fast. And all you need to do is just name the room, storage, and buildings properly and make the calculation setting in the fast mode. Select the specific room in which you need to do the calculation, run the calculation, and the results are done. So, um, that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it helpful. And if you did, please do like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me. Thank you.